Vital Vital Podcast. Lift off and the clock has started. <laughs> Why? Is because that uh, are you a disgrace to your race and you don't know how to say No, nah, it? it's not even that. It's it's look, I, I I'll give you the best example. It's like I asked this, how do you say season two, episode nine in Spanish? Cause I'm a sad Mexican. I have already admitted that. Like I never learned Spanish I, in my life and I am Mexican and it I am ashamed. Don't I'm be ashamed, man. The Aztecs didn't speak Spanish. Yeah, so don't worry. You told me that. I remember you're like, someone ever tells you that, tell yeah. them that the original Mexicans didn't even speak Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because it's be like, ashamed. Hey, I, I t- I'm going to tell you like this. Season season two, episode nine. <laughs> but like, you knowing by podcast, we just <laughs> running right into it like we supposed to. But no, I mean, yeah, because I do see a lot of people bagging on each other. Oh, you ain't no real Mexican. Yeah. This and then it's like, bro, what is a real Mexican? A Mexican, like... You know what I'm saying? It's, it, I feel like as long as you still know about your people, and what I mean know about them is like you don't look at your people different. Because, you know, we got like bougie Mexicans now that, yeah. that act like, that that act like you know, my paisitas and stuff. It's like, you there's know, people, be, and there's people like that of something. all races like, and colors and cultures. Exactly. So to me, it's like, uh, to me, being a real Mexican just means that you, you're, you're true to your people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know that, okay, maybe I don't know, I don't speak Spanish, but that just because I don't doesn't mean it, anybody else is less, is yeah. less of a person or a Less, it, it's like it's funny because that type of talk is what drives people to be like Latinos for Trump. I feel like because then they so? start they start losing their uh they start losing their identity with um within their culture. So then they're like, well, fuck it, I'm pro, I'm pro yeah, America. They latch onto some else. other identity. Yeah, what's up with the legendary Gary Archer, man? We doing a, a live podcast. Usually, what we do for everybody that's listening, we'll do the first ten minutes of the podcast for um. We'll do the first 10 minutes of the podcast on live, give people opportunities to bring up topics if they like. We like to listen to the people. Uh, I got Patty 16th World in the building right now, so we in, a, we, hola, at, hola. We, we in full capacity right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we talking that pot talk, Gary Archer. Maximum effort. Just so you know, beware. We, you done stepped into the motherfucking no invite zone. You know what I'm saying? We keeping it all the way unfiltered, unadulterated. Give and, me a- Stuff to do something with. <laughs> yes, Patty, roll some weed. Oh, you want me to do this? Gonna be, yes, I was going to do my own, but okay. It don't matter. Just roll some of that. It's all okay. Give me your um... Right. But yeah, so I don't I don't like to push that whole you ain't a real Mexican shit because like even me, uh, my my parents and everything, you As know, we digress. I've been I've been on my own since I was 16. And even when I did live with my mother and was closer to my, my family roots, it's like we didn't um, we didn't have like a deep family like that. Like a, a lot of our culture from Mexico and stuff like that was just whatever that my mother and my grandmother brought with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. I, I wasn't, so it was just like your mom, your grandma, and your siblings. My, right? my mom, my grandma, and her siblings, which I had like I had three uncles mm-hmm. and and another aunt. Gotcha. So that we weren't a big family to begin with. They and they came from Mexico and migrated yeah. out here. So you know what I'm saying? You know they um you know they brought their culture, but it wasn't like how most fe- Mex- typical fe- Mexican families out here are deep. A yeah. lot of a lot of culture. Yeah. A lot deep of the in uh, the culture still yeah, that is brought still, over yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. So they're we kind of Americanized in a way. In a way, we we're Americanized, but it was more like we we're just cut off from our families, and it wasn't like gotcha. you know by circumstances that we. Yeah. It was just the way that we migrated out yeah. here, I, and, and it's crazy because I really would like to ask my mom and talk to her and get our whole story. But so when you were talking about why you know how how do you say it. In Spanish, I even told like some of my friends, I'm like, yo, look, I've been on the own since I was 16. I lived on the streets and yeah. shit. And and you know, a lot of my a lot of my culture was lost. I could speak Spanish and I could understand it and I could write it. And I do love uh I do love mu- all kinds of music. But, but predominantly like, my culture was the hood. Yeah, <laughs> my culture was hood culture. Like, <laughs> like real talk. And, and 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 that's the thing, it's like people I even even some of my friends that, that speak fluent Spanish, they'll trip out because they'll they only know me like this. And then I'll speak Spanish. And they'll be like, I didn't know you spoke Spanish. I'm like, damn. I'm like, what the? I'm like, yeah, I do. Shit, I can read. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? But and it's not nothing to them. But that's just you know, like I said, that's that's the uh, yeah. That's that mindset. You know, to me, I embrace my people no matter what. I yeah. mean, if you can speak it, you can't speak it. I just like it when when you you're in tune with your culture somehow. If you know some of it, no one's a fucking. No one's an expert, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but as long as you as long as you know you're in tune with your cause like me as I got older, I've been wanting to get more in tune with my culture, you know yeah. what I'm saying? More in tune with 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 
you know, because 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 in my opinion, like our culture, like Mexican culture, like it symbolizes like community. It's like family, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And that that's yeah. that's not a lot that I've had close to me, like exactly. it, it, within our, you know uh, yeah. reaching distance. So. And the love just from something that you're familiar with in that sort of sense, yeah. even if it's just like inundated you through DNA or through generations, yeah. like it's just kind of like like animals, like um, bloodhounds. Mm-hmm. They're made to sniff. No matter where, you could domesticate them. You yeah. could have them in, in your home and never near any sort of farm life or any so, sort of rural area, but they're still going to sniff. Yeah. Like that's just the, in their nature. So I feel like that's with us too. Like there's something that's just like resonates through in us. Yeah, for family. Through like generations that. regardless. And so like that sort of love from that sort of familiar setting, yeah. however you may know it, whether you were exposed to it as a child or not, like it just feels right. Yeah. Like you know it's real by the way it feels. Yeah. I, like you know, I said, like, like I totally get that. Like last week or I, I think it was last week. Because like my dad's side of the family, they were super like traditional mexican and super tight huh and it it yeah oh and i liked how open they were it mm. wasn't necessarily the size because i come from like a big family on my mom's side mm-hmm. but it was about the openness yeah the transparency how comfortable they were with you of course you had altercations and conflicts but but that's like family, when i went like... to his mom's house I felt safe. It was weird because I was like, I don't know. Like, they have like novelas I, I on like the I'm supposed the, to be here. Everybody's like speaking Spanish and there's novelas on the TV and I have no one just like, but, and it felt like foreign, but it didn't feel like it wasn't love. It yeah, was weird. Like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. It's like, look, the last week, remember I told you I went to a party and I was saying, I had, <laughs> yes. But I had the time of my life. Which time? And, uh, it was, but it was probably a good and a bad night mixed together because how it ended. But look, the Very reason why I bring, I, I brought, <laughs> yeah, I brought it up on the last podcast. I didn't want to say too much. What's up with the smacker, man? What's happening? Well, um, what it is is that um, what what I think what made it such a good night too was to see like all my friends, family, and yeah. the community, everybody fucking with each other. It's like, it's like. That's probably what's missing from me. I'll be thinking about because I get hell excited when I see like all everybody and their all their family, their cousins and their and their uncles come through and everybody's chilling and shit. It's like, damn, I never had that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I still want something like that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So I had a good ass time and it was just dope seeing everybody had their family with them and they was fucking with each other and and you know like you said they they you know when the it's family you know them like, like the when I get acceptance. around my family it's the same shit but it's just like since I, all my family is not it, it doesn't live in this state or what I. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I deal with, I deal with what as I come. I got family out here, but it's like not everybody together at once. It's not, not in the like, house, in yeah, my, like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like or even down the street, or, down or the street, like or the next how town like over. the grandparents watch the kids and the tia, or like whatever the case may be, exactly. or like just go play with your cousins at your tia's house down the street. Like exactly. it's not like yeah, I get it. Yeah, because, or holidays when everybody comes yeah. to somebody's house. It's like. I don't, we it's don't hard get to get everybody together. Like yeah. everybody has their yeah. own thing. Well, we try, it. but you know, it's but like, it's hard. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. Life. It's hard, especially when you've had years and years of being of doing what you're doing and shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like it's already. What's up with the smacker though, bro? You got something? You got a topic you want us to talk about? Type it in, bro. You could even come on live if you want to, man. We just doing uh, episode nine uh, for all my podcast listeners. You know what I'm saying? We 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 addressing the live. We got IG live up and running. We're gonna give y'all probably till ten minute mark. And then you got to go on your favorite streaming platform and uh, go ahead and knock that one time. Slap that shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, You can't slap a podcast. You can slap Stop it. using the word slap in the wrong way. I'll tell you like this. You can use slap you can, in anything. No, cheeseburgers and food do not slap like do, podcasts don't But they don't really slap. do, bro. They slap no, hard, bro. No. What you talking about, man? It's no. a cheeseburger when you're high as no. fuck. Tell me that shit ain't slapping. No. So that song was smacking. No. Yeah. No. You can't yeah. use it like that. Yeah, no. Okay. Stop okay, it. Okay, Patty, you Stop fuck, it. fucking grammar Culture Nazi. Vultures. I'm just like fucking, fucking <laughs> Ebonics grammar bully. Yeah, gr- grammar dictator and shit. You can't use it like that. You know You're going to use the slag user. Right. I heard the fuck it's out of that. It's a rite of passage. Yeah. But you know, to me, like just to seeing everybody Damn, together, hipsters. to me that that makes me feel I have good. I love hipsters. I was just playing. <laughs> yeah, they gonna come for you. <laughs> gonna, Some of the coolest people I know are hipsters. <laughs> you gonna get the cats? You gonna get the cats with the mustaches that are curled at the end, pulling up on you like, "What's up? With the What's up?" That shit, the pulling up on you the on their flannels. fucking electric scooter. With, with their toms on, talking about heard you got you want proms, Patty. Always just so angry at the world, not knowing why. <laughs> like Kevin Hart, remember? Uh, remember <laughs> fucking um, uh, what's it called? Remember a forty-year-old virgin? Yes. He's all this show, man. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna 
I'm gonna fuck <laughs> both you up. <laughs> the slapping yeah. and like that, the, the clap. The, oh both y'all gonna get clap. That's that shit to me. Yeah, that's my boy. Yes. Yeah, we we were up the same smart tech. Remember, he, he was like, he like just put him in his beef and everything. Do we have a problem here? <laughs> oh, we could have a problem. Oh my god, he's all, he's like, this your folk? He with you? <laughs> But yeah, nah. But see, the uh, moral of the story though, like the family, the family vibe though was great. That's part of what made it so dope for me. Like I said, really? seeing everybody's family kicking yeah. in, and it reminds me of my family. It's just that I, I just don't get. I'm not lucky enough to get to see that all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that was part of the good time, bro. It's because like, it's rare that you could go anywhere, and just it ain't no 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 bad vibes. Yes. And when you're around family, normally it's always good vibes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, families we all have our moments and shit, right? But for the most part. It's always or good that's vibes, how it's supposed to be. Yeah, or that's how it's supposed to be. Especially when it comes to a party, though. It's like you know, you come to a party. We all came, we came to celebrate somebody's birthday, and 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 you know, and and, and do a big for them. It's like it, it's it's dope to see just the family functioning. And I think it's and, just like the connection between people because not everybody at that party was related like by blood yeah, you know for what sure, I mean for sure. like people marry into families and other situations occur yeah, et cetera, and friends et cetera. coming and, over but it's the family and it was the connectedness yeah the, the family familiar, vibe that really the, made it that's that's like when everything happened with sports during the pandemic i thought that was interesting because i did like the camaraderie that the sports brought and yeah. not just amongst like the team but like if you don't allow it to rule you and to to dictate your life in a sense in a negative way um like the sense of that crowd saying the same thing, chanting the same it's, thing at the same time. There's so much power in the togetherness yeah. and like the bond. Like that's what I'm saying. So that's like it, it, that's as so humans, that's like, what we crave for though. Like like that's what they like I always tell you all the time, that's what we like want. As much as much, huh? I said it could become like a family. Yeah, uh, as much as humans, uh, you know, we like to say we're antisocial and we don't fuck with people, we still crave that community type other. stuff. You know what I mean? Why you think Instagram's so fucking popular? At the end of the day, everybody want to feel like they belong people. to something, being a, and connected to people. You dig what I'm saying? So whether it's family, or people you think you know on the gram that you followed for so yeah. long, you kind of feel like you. Because I I know there's yeah. people that I followed for years, and I feel like I've grown with them. Especially when I see if they're artists and mm -hmm. I see their music, it's like yo, I remember. The, you know, I, yeah. I think that shit's tight. You I feel was me? just talking about that with my folks. I was like because. Uh, we we're talking about this girl influencer and now like she's pregnant and we're kind of like like we're talking about like oh that's dope like we're happy for her but we don't even know this person yeah. but I was like she's hella funny <laughs> like she's got her numbers up like we we're like yeah like we was like we was feeling that and then we, were, then we started talking about dog face mm -hmm. remember how dog yeah. face just being himself nowhere. yeah and just because he had a popping personality and he was cool and like you're like oh our and just that's one video. That's crazy. And yeah. now he, I heard he bought a house, like cash, because yeah, he got like endorsements yeah, and things. I don't I've know seen if a it's lot true, of stuff about but... It. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm like, sure, you know. That's with it, though. You're like, yeah, like, that's what's up. It's just, it's just people deep down at the end of the day, unless you're a fucking hater and you're miserable, you want to see people doing good. You want to see people happy because you know that it's possibility for yourself to, to be happy if you ain't already. You know what I'm saying? You know who talk the most shit? Huh? People who shit ain't together. Yeah, that's real talk. <laughs> But I mean, like, like to me, deep down inside, I like to see that shit. Like I said, I like to see the, the people with their family functioning. I think that's tight because it makes me feel good. I like to see people winning. Yeah. I root for my people if they if they doing what they doing, they doing it how they supposed to do it. You know, I, it's just it makes you feel good. Like that, it, we could even kick off into that topic now. But before we do that, because because we had that topic already about Instagram, does it inspire you yes. or is it or does it make you bad? We could talk about that shit. But first, we're gonna go ahead and let the live go. We are gonna have a commercial break. We have a Pay commercial for our bills. break. We'll be back to No Invite Podcast. You feel me? Bang bang. And bang bang. Hey, <laughs> sure, hey, see, I knew you. I was gonna get you to say it eventually. I knew it was. Hey, I had somebody else say. I'm like, had the Cuddy, uh, the Cuddy was saying it too. He's all, he's all, damn. He goes, I say that shit too. I was like, yeah, man. Fuck. He's all like when you no, say that shit. No, I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. Shout out to the fellas. We were out in, in Frisco yesterday, and we we're um, and I was topping it up with with some of the <laughs> some of the uh, uh the the fellas from Solo Mob and stuff. So like Bose and um. Spin stacks and you know we're chilling out there with my producer and he he said the same thing he's all bang bang when he see me I was like oh shit to me if anybody says stuff like that uh, you know that you, I know you listen to the to the podcast in some form or fashion so I, to me that was that was that was a good ass feeling like, that, was, that, was I, that was great because I was like bang 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 great. for real motherfucker do you bang bang you know what I'm saying so 
it, it was it was like yo I was like yo it, and it, and it's just my shit it's just you know it, it ain't it is really no meaning to it it's just like I I think I, I said know. it before on the podcast it was just I wanted to <laughs> it do just something felt different right. because everybody goes you know what it is or you know shit like that it's like I need I need to break it's out of that cliche. habit and, and, and yeah and say something that that fits me you know what I'm saying so bang. We in this thing. Remember, you wanted to do like yabba dabba do or something. Yeah, shit, like I some forgot. Hey, y'all gotta shit. listen to y'all gotta listen to that episode. It's, it's in the archives from season one. We kind of explained the whole reason why I say bang and everything. Shout out to pops from Friday and shit. Rest oh, in peace. But uh, we were talking about it earlier, and we wanted to bring it on on mic to see what y'all thought about it. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to answer in the comments. Drop these comments. You know what I'm saying? Please rate review. That helps a lot. That helps push the podcast up farther to its goals. But we're talking about Instagram. We're talking about Instagram because Instagram is a the most wonderfulest, ugliest, beautifulest, evil <laughs> place on earth. And or social media in general. Social media, yeah. When I say Instagram, I say social media because there's different forms and stuff like that. So it, you, you know what I mean? It's like it, it, it all. It's all what your poison is. But we're talking about Instagram today. Yeah, we're talking about Instagram today. So does so Patty. Does Instagram inspire you or does it get you mad? Like, or does it bring out other sides of you? I'm not going to say mad, but does it bring out other sides of you that you probably normally wouldn't be like? Not that I normally wouldn't be like, but just it's just more exposure of, you know, people and you said you the just, activity and the behavior in just the world and life in general. So yeah. it's like, um, I, one thing that I've never really got is like some people are like, it makes them depressed. Mm, it makes yeah. them sad. I don't personally get that from it when i see it and i see somebody doing something accomplishing stuff i'm like oh that's dope let me yeah. try to do that like oh that's dope if they can do it i can do it or yeah. just like or if something like good happens mm -hmm. like that makes me like oh, okay there is like there's positivity. hope for this fucking world yeah exactly so i never really like scrolled and really got depressed but i know some people do because it's like the whole i want that I think, yeah, you're right. And, and, and I'm going to tell you like this. I think the only time that Instagram bothers people is probably when they're not happy with their current situation and they're yeah. seeing it. Because also them not understanding Instagram or social media, it's like you got to remember, you're only seeing people's wins. It's mm -hmm. rare that people show their losses and show what it takes for them to get to that point. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So in a way, it could seem depressing to the average person that's, you know, has some hard luck or, you know, is going through some personal things and... They feel like wow, everybody got their fucking life together, but me. But yeah. we all have but to. It's not. But it's not, yeah. And we all have to remember that shit when we watching the gram. It's like, bro, it's not all that it's caked up to be. It's not all that you that people let you see it is. There's a lot of fucking shit behind the scenes that you don't mm -hmm. know about that people go through in turmoil. And a lot of people choose not to share it because they don't want to give anybody a weapon to be yeah. used against them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and nobody wants to like. In and some sense, people do though. Some people lay celebrate. out the whole tool chest for a motherfucker to break him to pieces and shit. I was I was gonna you know say saying? though I do like because again on the flip side I see a lot of females are like oh she's super pretty she's super beautiful and then you know she's a real person. Yeah. And she's like I don't look like this all the time guys this is what yeah. I look like too my body looks like this too look at these angles and so it's like oh like we are all real like like yeah, that, that just... makes you feel like oh it's relatable like I get that like. Yeah, I look like that too. Like, yeah, and I respect that because I, I, I to me, the, anybody that I, follow, I, I usually don't just follow like, like, name uh, non-person accounts, you know, like mm -hmm. world star and shit like that, mm -hmm. shit with videos. But I, I respect anybody that that shows the process and shows the wins and the, the losses. The realness, yeah, it shows like the realness, and I liked that part too because there's a lot of things that I didn't know about, and I seen, you know, because. You know, our information is manipulated, whether it's the person or the media, whatever the yeah, case may exactly. be. Exactly. You're never getting the under exactly. unfiltered. And I like that there was the behind the scenes. That, uh, this is what it took to do this. And like, believe you me, I don't look like this all the time. This took three hours of makeup and hair and I'm going to look like this for like an hour or two. Like, yeah. and, and you respect that because it's like, like oh, they're in a way they're being honest okay. with you. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, like, oh, OK. It's that makes still sense. a control scenario, but at least they're giving you the mm -hmm. the. OK, even this control scenario, I'm letting you see. I'm letting you see my my flex the of the realness. day. Just yeah, like, this is what it took real. to get there. Like, like, that's why I like doing vlogs in a sense. Yeah. Because people think that that, that you go into the studio and going through this is hella glamorous and fun like that. But it's like, <laughs> bro, it's it's work, bro. I've, I've sometimes never it's boring. Sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes. Way, I, I'm the type of person that I don't really like people in the studio if 
they're not contributing music wise or they're not interfering music but there has been times yeah. where it's been f- close friends or family members where we're yeah. like okay come on through and we bring them to the lab and they, they're in there you know half flicking it up and having a good time they're <laughs> no, like you yeah. know what they're reminding me of uh. I just want to dance <laughs> <laughs> break it down for the people so they know what you're talking about I can't that's, that's your story because you were a part of it but that's yeah. what that were. yeah and I was talking to somebody about that the other day they were like man when I go to the studio I want to I either have my shit written or I write it there and yeah. we go in we knock it out we out I'm not trying to sit there and smoke and kick it and, and like you out, said yeah. and be flicking and selfies and look what I'm doing like but see that's go the thing yeah that's the thing <laughs> so see? people just want to dance <laughs> people just want to dance in there you feel? but see look that's the thing though where people real don't realize that the artist knows that already if you're an artist you know already how fucking long these studio sessions be and how boring they are going over the same shit sometimes right and, and, and 99% of the time when we bring somebody to the studio they're tele fascinated by it that ain't an artist they just when dance. they come in there they're like fuck they're the first hour they're chilling flick selfies it's all good and then the next the rest of the time they're so baked because we in there burning it down so they're just passed out on the couch or they're hella bored already or they're on their phone they're like damn this is really not what I thought it was gonna be <laughs> we're like yeah motherfucker it's work it's not really fucking you know what I'm saying it's, the, it's, it's, it's nice it's dope we get to do what we do and yeah we like to enjoy what we do but but it's not, I, it, I guess it's not what you expected Creation it to takes be. time. So it wasn't what you expected to be. You just wake up and this is how we be. Yeah. And this is how it is. And, and, and even look, my <laughs> vlogs even are controlled, right? In a sense, yeah. like what you see. Because I cut out all the all the stuff that I know people don't want to sit there and watch. I just give you yeah. guys the little tidbits to make the fucking. That's reality TV yeah, too. Makes, they don't sit there while you're like. Yeah making a sandwich and it's yeah. hella boring and there's nothing interesting yeah, that's exactly. why there's always has to be some sort of conflict yeah otherwise you're just watching the truman show yeah right and, and, like, and it's not even an interesting one at that you know what i'm saying because that's why in the truman show didn't they yeah. have to like put like obstacles they, and shit uh, they, in this way his to whole make fucking it, life was fucking right. constructed around him like, like but they had to insert like yeah. like problems yeah. and everyday and, and solutions to yes the, yeah. otherwise it's just like Mm. What am I watching? Are we living in that right now? Yeah, we Is this are. a simulation, y'all? 50 <laughs> 50 chance. All of a sudden, I mean, got my conspiracy hat on. Uh, uh. But I did like the realness that Instagram br- uh, brought the yeah. attention to, to um, like the world. And a lot more different types of people are now accepted, in a sense. Like, they've always, yeah. they should have never not been accepted because that's bullshit. Like, I don't know. I like differences. I like it it's when a, it's a window to people to different people and lifestyles and culture and I think that's cool. Uh, a lot of people do get it fucked up. They get it twisted and be on there taking everything personal and and all that stuff. It's like, look, for the record, when it comes to the the, the many sides that it brings out of people on Instagram, it's like it will bring the hater out of somebody. You know what I mean? And it's because oh, it, and it's because it's because once again, they're only seeing the highlight reels and they're not maybe either happy with their progress mm-hmm. it, ain't, it ain't maybe so much that they hate the person it's just like fuck they're like you know what i'm saying but it, it will and and, and and it also like brings out like and, and people start like get I, I feel like people get too invested into it mm-hmm. it's like look man this is your life live your life you see people other people they're doing what they're doing it shouldn't it shouldn't offend you that they're handling their business and, and they're being successful and it also shouldn't make you feel any any kind of way period because it's like yeah at the end of the day it's like it's a tool bro this shit's all a tool for us to get our product whatever it might be you know besides the other stuff of course obviously instagram's more than that but for me in, in general like it's a tool so nobody should fucking because like i've seen people get on there and throw hella subliminals mm. and then and and, and i kind of might know who they're talking about and then you see the other person start throwing subliminals and i know that they're like responding to theirs and i'm like yo you see the beef kind of yeah just it's like yo just knock this shit off and talk to each other yo like like dm the person if you yeah. can't go see them in person be like what's up man it's yeah. good let's you know let's conversate if we got an issue because I feel like the, the, the little sneaky shit, like like for me on accounts, when I see people uh, always bitching and complaining, but they're supposed to be winning, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They're always like their highlight reel is they're winning, mm-hmm. but they're bitching and complaining about what other people do and mm-hmm. don't do and shit like that. It's like we all have our moments, but there's such things as excess, you know what I mean? If you got like an opinion, you want to express like, yeah, I don't like this, that, and the other on Instagram, that's cool. But when you're constantly like you're talking about somebody... Yeah. I'm waiting for the half hour mark to spark that. <laughs> oh shit, I heard the fuck out of it. <laughs> <laughs> why? Do you, why? Anyways, you like we, that plan? You like that strategy? 
it, I, I'm gonna take it as the universe telling me not to put people in their place like that. But um, <laughs> the the computer cut oh, off because that? that's podcasting. But yeah, what I was saying basically is is that if you're miserable, you know, on on in in real life, you know, it could bring out like the bad. Because I could tell either people people be real miserable, faking like they're happy and shit because. If you're if you're alive, bro, and you got opportunity, you're not fucking severely injured. You you know you have your health and shit like that. There should be no reason why you out here mad and shit about anything. You know what I'm saying? Don't get yeah. me wrong. Life is gonna piss you off, but it's like the way people are on this shit is it's depressing to me. And that's what brings me down. It's like well, I don't want to hear you bitch and complain and talk about all your family members and and how your 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 significant other ain't shit. But then the next day y'all taking selfies and you guys are all in love and shit. It's like bro, get the fuck out of here with that. Some stuff. We, we got to remember that that social media is not our end. It's not our fucking therapist. You feel me? It's not. It's a. It's it's not designed for that. You go on there and telling all your fucking personal biz. You just look like bozo ish. You feel me? I think it just depends on how you are and how you express yourself. But let me give you my little. Sh- can I give you my little spiel? Sh- go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So everything that we do is a reflection within ourselves. Mm-hmm. And sometimes how you were saying like people be fake happy, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes people are lying to themselves. Yeah. And they don't even realize it. They get up and they, you know, they get ready in the morning or whatever and they go about their day and they don't really think or reflect about what's going on, how they're acting, how those actions affect their lives and the yeah. others around them. They don't. I heard an unexamined self is an unfulfilled self. Basically. And so it's like <laughs> that person that's fronting and stunting and saying that they're happy because they have a lot of money and they have jewelry and they have cars and they have pretty women around them and they have a certain status that they live or try to claim that they do all that but they don't yeah that's something within (laughs) themselves yeah that's like oh okay well what am i compensating for don't get me wrong having nice there's nothing wrong with having nice things it's definitely not there's nothing wrong with living a nice lifestyle uh but is that the basis of your happiness? Yeah. And if so, why and why not? So that's the thing. Like, if you're sitting there pretending like you have a lot of cars and a lot of money and all this and all that, but you don't, that means that you want that. Why do you want that? What is lacking in your life that makes you feel inadequate to where you feel like you have to do that? And then yeah. if someone calls you on it, of course, someone's like... You ain't stunning. You don't know what the fuck you... Like, you ain't really got that. What are they going to do? They're going to lash out. Yeah. And see, the thing is, it's not no way directed at people that really are actually out there trying to achieve these goals and and, and actually, you know, want finer things for themselves. Like, so there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's just, like I said, the people that are... Um, that do it, try to do it at the expense of other people. You dig what I'm saying? Or, or and the, again, that's a self-reflection or, of yourself. Or, or where they're just like... Like, when they sat there and they see somebody have, like, a nice car and they're like... How'd he get that? I should have that. I've done just as much work. That's something within you. Yeah. Why do you feel like, what have you done to feel like you deserve that? How come everybody's fucking with this person and not me? Because I see it. Like, I'll see people go on rants and be like, you mean to tell me that this, this gets this many likes or views and you guys can't even fuck with it? It's like, so bro, stop, that is bro. Because Just like, stop that, bro. Like, that for real. Is they either have You're a watching feeling, the other person's pot too much. That is them either feeling like, I've put just as much work in, but I'm not getting my recognition. Why them? So that's, again, you. You feel like you're lacking, and you feel like you need outside validation, i.e. numbers, likes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to make you feel like you're worthy. That's what that is. Mm. Or you feel like it's unfair. Why do they have it and I don't? Why Mm. do you feel like that's unfair? And why do you take it personal? Why do you take other people's success? Exactly. It's about, they're making it, it, like, they're... They're talking about the other person, but it's really about them. Yeah. Every any sort of negative emotion that comes out of you is because there's something within yourself that you need to address. Again, you need to analyze why does this make me feel this way? Yeah. Cause a lot of people and do. And that's work. A lot of people do. And and and, it, and there's so many layers. Like I said, this shit's kind of crazy. I, I seen a documentary, I forgot what it was called. Remember, I was telling you to to watch it. Uh, but it was it was talking about social media and whatnot, and they're saying shit, bro. Twenty years from now, we're probably gonna look back and be like, why did we let people ha- like, especially kids, have this? Like, it's or that I think damaging. Like, it's that's that how it was during psyche. that time, and yeah. that was funny because I was looking, I was just kind of looking at, you know, that was the like past that- few years, and it's like the mumble rappers are kind of going out of style. In a sense, yeah. 
It's evolving. Well, that's the thing. It's like this evolution. It's definitely not as popular as it was. Yeah, and it's evolution. It's like, look, think of it like this. It's like that form so of rap, change. that form of rap and culture in that time. It, it, it's like when the fucking uh, when 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 something's metamorphosizing. You feel me? It's a cocoon. Like so, it's not always pretty. It, it, it's definitely something that's necessary because you can't change to the next level without that transitioning period. You mm-hmm. dig what I'm saying? So it's like um, it, it, it's it's part of the it's part of the whole thing. Like we don't always like how shit transitions because I'm sure like like I was telling somebody else the other day they were talking about just this whole generation and the music. I was like, bro, you can't really talk like that because think about it. How when we were we were that age and we were next up. Look how the fucking older generation yeah. looked at our fucking, our, our rap and, <laughs> yeah. and culture and like, That's you guys are destroying the game. You guys, you guys are fucking shit about? up. I was like, you just, what you're doing is you're dating yourself and you're sounding kind of old and bitter. It's like, if I something's think it's the not for you, resistance to change. Yeah, like, it is. It is, and like you said, it's personal because it's like now you, you feel attacked. Exactly, you feel attacked because you're starting to feel obsolete. But when then that's not the case, it's like as humans, we should always be evolving and growing. And if even that's not for you, you understand that it's not for me. So I shouldn't take it personal. It's like it's just that's just where it's going. Or not even that. Not take it personal. Again, just sit back and say, why does this? cause me unless it's like really affecting like your money your happiness or your family in a sense or things that like yeah. actually threaten your actively threaten your well-being mm. you need to ask yourself why because again the way that you whatever like, you project what? says more about you than it does about the other people so that's what i get when i see like the comments and you know the unnecessary negativity i'm like you trying to hate on them but I don't know for me I see like this says more about you yeah than anything and so it's yeah they're gonna take it personal because that's life but you need to then analyze why because sometimes you know some people are just like if somebody's doing something wrong and somebody opposes it that doesn't mean that you're a hater Mm-hmm. You know, if you're outright being disrespectful and out of pocket and, and people laugh at that type of shit. Yeah. People think that that type of shit, you know, beating up the corn man is funny or robbing this folks and like yeah. showing what you got is funny. Some people entertain that. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So like you need just because people oppose that doesn't mean that they're hating or that. Yeah. But sometimes they are just standing up for what they believe like nah that's not cool yeah like no that's not right like but on the other hand there's a lot of unnecessary negativity yeah and and so you have to sit there and be like why does this really bother me is it legitimate yeah or and I just don't. I is just it don't because like. I'm insecure about something within myself. Yeah, and and it's just like it's just like for me, I don't like letting social media dictate my mood. Like mm-hmm. whenever I feel like that's happening, because it happens to everybody. Where like you just go on there and you seen shit, you seen a bunch of shit you don't like. It's like, that's when you need to disconnect for a little while, I feel like. Go do something else. Go do something that directly is good for your go live, life. Go re- live real life. Yeah, like. go live real life. Go unplug. Go go do something that's good for you because it's just like, it, it just it's not a good feeling, bro. It's not a good it's feeling. Not. To, to, and I don't like I don't but like. But you can feel people. like that towards a lot of things. You could watch TV and feel like that. You could be in just, you know, living your day-to-day life and be at work and see somebody get a promotion and feel like that because you're like, hey, I've done just as much work well, as well, them. I'm saying more like, yeah, and you're so, right, but like, I'm saying more like, and from my perspective, like seeing people like just lash out and be hella weird on, you know what I mean? And just... Yeah, I guess it's more easy that way, but for me, it's always about like, if you feel like that, like if you can't manage a thousand dollars, you can't manage a million dollars. Like if, mm. if you feel like that, you can't sit there and enjoy your cup of coffee at the beginning of the day, no matter, in a sense, you know, everything's okay. Um, at the beginning of the day, the whole house you're not gonna. Down. End- this is fine. This is all right. I'm okay. <laughs> not necessarily to that extent, but like if you can't, if you don't enjoy IG, you're not necessarily gonna enjoy real life either. It's yeah. again to me. That's where I go back to where you need to analyze how you're perceiving things. That's yeah. what I, to me. That's where it all starts. Is within uh, here. Like that's your foundation, your yeah. mental. So that's what I'm. I get it, and there's different facets because. But ultimately, to me, everything just comes down to everything being connected. Yeah. And it comes in how you're perceiving the world. Yeah. Because... And, I, and I'm going to tell you I like this, too. And, and it's always great to be direct. You know what I mean? Because all that subliminal shit and you throwing, shot, you throwing shots at people, but you're not going to say nothing to them. That's just... Just looks... I'm good. That looks just crazy. And it's really just... It, I don't know. I don't think it makes anybody feel any better. I don't think the person doing it feels better. I don't think that... None of that. You know what I'm saying? So... 
there's a difference between, you know, just making a statement or, or voicing an opinion. And there's a difference when, when you're like sitting there basically disrespecting, I don't know who, whoever it is, the mister, the shadow people that you're, <laughs> that you're so-called beefing with. But it's just like, to me, I, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I, I go on IG and I'm tunnel vision too. I'm not really looking at other people's pot and not, and you know, that, that might be perceived as being an asshole because sometimes I don't see you know other people's stuff or support it as much as I do but it's just a, it, me keeping tunnel vision is a is a great way for me to keep my focus in what I'm trying to accomplish mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and I, I do I do show as much love as I can and there's a lot of people that that reciprocate that and I do I do my best to do the same but for most part it's like I don't go on I, I go on IG for the memes mm-hmm. I go on it for funny videos like entertainment entertainment just purely like entertainment, entertainment. and of course I gotta put I gotta I gotta do my what's it call yeah my, you do my, your work do my work for yes. it because that's that's what I'm building I'm building and your a brand craft and yeah. your art so I'm, I, I gotta present that but for the most part I'm not there for all that I'm not there to be worried about yeah, other people's people personal are. problems it, it makes me sad though but I can't tell people what to do like it makes me sad when I see people post people, pictures of like their grandparents on their deathbed and they're like it's like bro some stuff that's kind of like a diary for them i get it but it's like it's a diary is meant to get be only read by you not by the fucking world people are more open than others yeah and i'm not judging i'm not judging but that's just like like, don't ever put me on a motherfucking picture when i'm when i'm in my motherfucking when i'm like a hundred and something years old in my fucking bed nigga or whatever the fuck (laughs) do not none of my great grandbabies you better not put me on tiktok or 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 knick knock or whatever it is that's <laughs> you know do you know they seen they they there was this girl Did you just that, say it, I just seen it the other day there was this girl like she was on she was getting blasted online because she did a TikTok video in front of her grandpa's dying like deathbed like he yeah. was in there on ICU like you could tell it was like yeah. he was in hospice or whatever and she's over there doing the little bouncing TikTok uh-huh. video where she's dancing and the music's yeah. hella up tempo I'm like damn you're a fucking you ain't shit I'm like bro <laughs> it might be of poor taste but, but it's a poor taste okay have you seen that one meme of the guy's funeral where he plays the recording of himself no. You haven't heard that? Nah. So there is this guy who and I guess this is like common I think it was Irish culture or something mm-hmm. like that. So they're at his funeral and he, they play audio. He wanted this. He they play audio and it's going Get me out, get me out. I'm alive still. I'm yeah. alive. So people are he mourning. That shit and, was he, hella funny. and he loved that was his humor. That's you how know the he difference though? Dealt, the, again, it depends on what the intention is. And no, the difference is is that there was the actual person that would that passed away doing that before it happened. What if his her grandpa grand- like supported her TikTok career? I don't know. I, and you I know don't what? Know. There, there probably is I don't more. Know. There probably is Maybe more playing shit. devil's advocate, yeah. but I'm just saying we can't judge know. people. But I'm gonna keep a king by my bed. Like, like, smack it one of my little grandbabies and they do that taste. shit. I wouldn't do that necessarily, but on my deathbed, on that everything. might be in poor taste. Some people were probably like offended that he did that, and, might, but people started dying. They loved it. Yeah. Like they're like, this is how he was. Like yeah. he was a jokester. Like he was a funny guy, and it. It, it brought, like, again, a negative situation, and it made light of it. Yeah. And it brought in some positivity. And, like, so I don't know. I would say, like, this. The she, granny, was, the granny was in though. the background in this video of the girl doing a TikTok in front of a girl. The granny in the background, she was, like, she was looking at her like, <laughs> so like then maybe, like, yeah, like, maybe bitch. Like, like, what are you what, doing? But, but that's the thing, though. That, that To me, the difference in the circumstances is, of course, the whole, all of it, but also... The, the, the guy that passed away chose it was that. Him directly. Picking, it wasn't somebody else like making a. a Saying, a mag- like, oh, he loved with, this. With, with the, yeah, with the, would it hit his heart if, if somebody They're else recorded their own him. audio? Yeah, they recorded their own audio and they played it at the funeral. Like, hey, it would be a different thing, right? True. So, Very true. Like, no, I get that. And, and even <laughs> with, my, with, my, with my uncle, when my uncle passed away, we we're like, fuck that. We're taking shots and we're going we're gonna to drink what he mm-hmm. used to drink. We're going to take shots and we're going to celebrate because. That's what he would have wanted. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? He was that kind of dude. Like yeah. he, and it's not like he would make fun of shit or anything. Like he always respected everybody and their and, and their how they felt. But he was always the energetic one. He was always the bubbly one. He was always like, "Hey, let's like the keep, life of the keep party. your chin up." You know what I'm saying? But the inspiring one, I'll keep your chin up. You're gonna be all right here. Drink this Aww. fucking beer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like, you know what I mean? The don't worry about it. You don't worry about. Oh, you broken hearted? Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? There's plenty out there. He was that kind of dude. That's you know awesome. Me? So. 
I get that part, but like I said, that's something that you know a little bit more. Now, if we would have been like, you know, did some wild shit, I gotta out send fucking, you now. I gotta yeah, look for it and gotta send look, you. I gotta see that like, too. Like you, will be like, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's 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 what it is. But it, point moral of the story, if there's anyone, I guess, or whatever point we're trying to make with this shit is like, don't let fucking Instagram get you fucked up. And that that could mean in a physical or anything sense, anything in life, or a mental sense. Or both. Somebody might punch you one day and, 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 and you may not never be the same. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and, and if you're lurking and not liking, welcome to the Blaze Show. You feel me? It, 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 it's on 24-7. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we're going to keep it going right now. You know what I mean? I thought I wanted to bring this up. Did you see that video of the girl... I mean, somebody... It didn't even show the dude's face. No, it didn't. Right? And, and I'm assuming... I don't think so. That, not the one that i seen. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, well, look, it sh it, dude had a video and he got a mold of his girl's vagina turned into a, ch a gold chain. Yes. It was the medallion. Yes. And first of all, I'm going to keep it real. That pussy didn't even really look that nice. That, that shit probably, he could have probably like had them do a little extra. Her took, vagina took, shaming? Took a, I'm not vagina shaming. I'm just saying her vagina didn't look nice. It's like, it wasn't, it wasn't gold worthy. It was maybe, he should have probably got a silver chain made of that or something. You know what I'm saying? You are so mean. Oh my <laughs> yeah. God. Did you just really say that? Don't get mad at me because I'm slandering a faceless vagina. Oh my God. I don't know. I'm the person connected to it. Could have been, oh could have had a heart of gold gosh. for all I know. I'm just saying the vagina didn't look really fly. It looked kind of like crazy a little bit. And hey, you know what it is for me though? He should have got like the smooth gold. Because the gold <laughs> that he got kind of like, the gold that he had kind of like dimples and dents in it and shit. And I'm like, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, bro, I hope the pussy really don't look like that. Because if it looked like that, bro, then maybe you should have got a, be nice. may, maybe she got a chain of her butthole be or something. Be nice, you know <laughs> be nice. I mean, in a very weird way, it's flattering. And then on the other way, like I hope you got her consent. Like, did you, you could, did you did you did you like at, like hey baby? Because you have to do you a know mold. what I'm about to do. Yeah, exactly. Like, but what if I don't know? I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure she got its the own. To okay. each its own. Not, but it's like, <laughs> all right. What if it was the other way around? And I'm about to get a mold of my nigga's dick all over me. Like, I'm sure it would look horrible as well. <laughs> like, your... what if I'm just walking around with just like balls on a <laughs> Hanging like, what if it was the other way around? And the girl was just like, yeah. Hey, I'm in like, I'm so that proud. Look good at all. I'm so proud. Yeah. And should it be bronze? Because you were like, know. it's not worth that smooth gold. <laughs> hey, it's whatever it she feels. Should be bronze gold? Whatever, balls whatever, in she, dick? whatever she feels like, like it is. If she went and got the balls, you know what I'm saying, dunked in gold one time and shit. Can you imagine, though, somebody really walking around with a chain? Uh, bro, somebody's really she walking got around the with balls a chain with a vagina and, on it. And, I believe and his it. penis, and he has her vagina. That's. That, that's that's Ooh, that's a different hey, level of confidence. And what, and what if it was one of those like uh, those the jewelry that connects where you can put it together like the like the like heart the and the key or the broken, the broken heart, broken heart yeah. friendship <laughs> bracelet? <laughs> oh my goodness! Dude. Like yeah. I couldn't. That's what I was just that's thinking. I was like, right what if it was the other way around? That would be well, how would you feel? I would feel the same way I feel now. That shit didn't look good. That shit looked crazy. Would Fuck you feel here. like, yes, baby, thank you so much? No. Nah, or would, would you be like, you better not wear that? Like, No, I wouldn't want that, though, because then motherfuckers would be looking at my girl like she's a freak and shit. Like, like oh, yeah, she likes that type. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, man, that, have some respect, baby. So it's not baby. even the fact that, like, it's a mold of your actual appendage, but it's the fact that they would think that she's They'd a freak. They try, yeah. Like, no shame. Yeah. You're such and, a man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, that's all it's it is. Not about. <laughs> like, yeah, it's really not about that. No it's just shade. about them saying it. Cause think about it like this, okay? Let's say let's let's try to take let's try to clean it up a bit. What if somebody was like, "Can I get a mold of your?" Your uh, your fing your fingertips or a, a mold of your lips because yeah. uh, you know like people yeah. get women's yeah. lips tattooed I totally on them, right? Get that, yeah. So what if they're like, let me get a mold of your lips? How would you feel? Would you feel flattered or would you feel like this nigga's weird? Like you would probably like that shit, right? You'd be like, that's kind of cool. Like, he, what's the difference between that and like bust? of people or like statues ain't nobody wearing a bust or something. I'm talking about just jewelry we, let's oh, keep it the jewelry, jewelry still? let's keep it jewelry, yeah. jewelry? <laughs> we're not like, talking about bust cause a mold yeah. of somebody in general is kinda egotistical is it not I, I'm only if that person doesn't want it you know what I'm saying have a good day hold on a second we're gonna take a quick break and then I'll, we'll be right back though. I got <laughs> 
Maybe I would though. Maybe I'd be like, you know, <laughs> baby, here goes these fucking ball earrings. I put two of my balls on the ear. That's what One I'm of my balls saying. on each of my earrings. Like, girl, wear that shit. Or you like know a what bust saying? of her breast, but shrunken down. Like, I don't know. Like a, a mold of anything yeah. on your body is kind of odd, is it not? Like, I don't know. Like, like I said, look, I'm not judging. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even judging her vagina because I'm sure that that it's like the it's like the the NFL Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? Bust. Sometimes they look dead on point, and sometimes they look like a whole other fucking. <laughs> Person, so maybe the gold like the work, wax museum yeah, exactly so Friday. maybe the gold work wasn't great for it you know what i'm saying and her vagina is probably really pretty and fucking perfect to her standards really it's how does she feel yeah that's what i was more concerned but like you said if they had to do the mold she consented and did they tell they had to have been like yeah, baby, this to, is bro. what i'm doing and she's like yeah she I, I am a, i am proud but some i am females, not ashamed but some females just like males let's keep it real some females are like hell yeah it's like claiming their territory they're like yeah you he yeah. better wear that vagina chain that's everywhere what I like shit to you know feel? the thought process behind it honestly that's why i'm like to each its own like yeah. I never judge. It's all natural anatomy. Like that's why we're all here. Yeah. Like the whole world was created. Yeah, just remember the WAP and whatnot. We just remember, yeah. Just remember, you jumped out one of them things exactly. before. Exactly. Even me, like I, I, I was saying, it didn't look good. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I also had to backtrack a little bit because you know I, I, I dropped out one of them them vages. You know what I'm saying? So. He wasn't yeah. letting me pet him like this earlier. Yeah, it's only what. Hey, he's he's look a weird. At, look at him too. He's, he's kind of thirsty. You want to know what it is? He's a weird dog. Like when his when his owner's here. Yeah. My girl's dog, by the way, y'all. When his owner's here, when she's here. He's being he, loyal. He no, he but he he try to flex. He don't ever bark and be out there trying to flex on other dogs. But when he's here, he's like he's like look what I could do type yeah, shit. Yeah, he's a dog. Or he's like pay attention to me shit. He's a dog. But when he when she leaves, he's he's just like hella calm quiet he don't bark at nothing the motherfucker will sit in here like a lot of times y'all when we doing these podcasts he'll be sitting in the third chair right he'll be sitting in the third chair just yeah. chilling like doing what he do sorry at, earlier I'm patty distracted when, by the dog it's all right patty came in earlier <laughs> try to pet him and shit he wasn't having it but that's because his owner was here you know what i'm saying he was so, not having it he was just kind of like mm, i'm just gonna back up a little bit i can't let her see <laughs> it's like bro you done sat through through like three fucking podcasts already y'all act like you don't know who the fuck patty is and shit you know what i mean <laughs> But it's the no invite. We appreciate y'all. We're still moving. We're still in the groove of things. You feel me? I had to take a little break. I just want to touch on this real quick. You know what I'm saying? I wanted you to tell me about the Kevin Hart special. What'd you think about it? I haven't watched the whole thing, but I seen parts of it. And I thought parts of it were pretty fucking funny. I th- Oh man! And I heard you hated it. I didn't hate it. I just thought it was super corny, and I felt like it was forced. I feel like a lot of times when people are trying to force the quarantine and coronavirus into entertainment you feel me it's like it doesn't come off natural yet because it's not over or it just seems like oh, i have to use this this is what's going on now i have to do what's 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 current mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah, so it feels kind of disingenuous in a way yeah it, it, it did kind of feel like that and you know he said he had the corona and shit but it also felt like he was like i don't know it just felt like he was paid to talk about it you know what i mean and i i you know call it what you want i'm i i, I don't i don't know i'm not hating at the same time that's just my the vibe that i got from it it was mm-hmm. almost it almost felt like a spokes spokesperson Did you type thing when you watched it you know that makes a difference <laughs> Were you and sober when you watched it? No, nah, I was lit. I had, <laughs> had a few beers and I was smoking. Mm. So I watched. I watched just a couple. Just what I watched. Like like you, I didn't watch the whole thing. So I'm, I reserve the right to change my mind later if I see it. And then you're like, you know what? It all ties in. But from what I saw, it just felt forced because he was talking about the coronavirus and having it and. Um, you know, like just rich people problems. He was like, "Yeah, we went to the store, had to buy everything. I had to buy all the K95s." We're like, "We know y'all motherfuckers bought all the K95s because nobody else on the fucking planet that didn't have a million dollars didn't have any." You feel what I'm saying? Like to me, it just seemed a little like, "Come on, bro. I get it, bro. You know what I mean?" So there's a couple things. Like, so I've heard some people that like they love Kevin Hart, um, and his movies are cool, but they don't like his stand up. That's true. So like that's kind of a thing too. Like I guess he kind of maybe brings like a different, different. I've always liked to stand up, but I've liked it earlier. I think just like naturally, like any other artist, once you get to a certain higher level, you're looked at differently by brands and stuff like that. So you, you maybe he didn't clean up his image. He's still the same, but he's not. I don't think as ruthless as he was before. He was comedy. talking about his wife and his mistresses, and you know that was a whole scandal. So he did talk about that, and he named that. Did you see those parts? I did. I seen those like, ones so too. So he that I thought that. And was he had kind a whole he had a whole like, he had a whole fucking thing on it, which I thought was brilliant though, because he brought that from his real life though. Uh huh. And I think he tried to replicate that sense with the corona and having it and how he said yeah. and all that, but it just seemed forced to me. 
Maybe. You know what I mean? And some Maybe parts. you're not relating to it as much because, you know, in yeah, his no, past, he that, that could be too, more but, but about I, more... I think that's what I meant too also, by the way, because I don't always say shit exactly how I mean it, but I think that's what I meant is that he... Um, you know, some of the stuff he's saying wasn't relatable to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it kind of, so it kind of didn't really hit with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like before, maybe other stuff like that might have been, um, <laughs> right? All of a sudden, huh? He's cold too, though. That's why. If you put him under the blanket, he's going to love you. But that's probably why, uh, maybe that's probably why I didn't why connect maybe, with me. Yeah. But see, yeah. the thing is, is, like that's just my opinion, though. For all we I know, I still it have could to be, watch the whole thing. To, it could I need be a more hit. information to form my opinion. I think only he will know. And I think he'll know by like, the react, the fan reaction. People are gonna mm-hmm. be like, and, and, and they're gonna state their opinion. Kind of like what I'm saying. Like to me, I just at first it didn't just appeal to me at all. And you're right, I do like Kevin Hart movies though, and I think he's fucking hilarious. I think I like his stand ups more than I like him in his movies sometimes. <laughs> but his, he, like, I love him in Jumanji. Like I love him I in Jumanji. I like, <laughs> like, I like him I in, 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 in roles where it's not his typical role. Like. Uh-huh. Um, like I don't like his love comedy type movies, oh. but I like his like slapstick and his adventure comedy. And again, comedies. I think it's that side though. Yeah, it's that it aspect. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like he don't either way. I can't. I can't not oh, play it. You know oh, because you know what I want to get into, and it's super old, but I just never watched it. But it's hilarious. The Real Husbands. Oh yeah. Have you ever watched that? I have not, but I. Bro, I, it, that's where a lot like of people love fun. him from. Yeah. Because he is Ruth. Yes. Yes. And maybe. You know, he grows, so of course people get softer in a sense. Like, whatever yeah. their artist is, as people get older, they get more cautious or more, like, you know. Well, it's sense. just a different perspective. You know, yeah. like, this is evolution. Wrong like with I said, it, he's, but it's just he's got interests to protect for himself. But some and his people family. like the wildness of people, they like I, that I unfiltered, uh, uninhibited, and, like. And I'm not even putting that on, on him, like, because some people, some artists, some comedians that I've loved, that I love, They've done that their, their whole career they where they've been just maxed out crazy and they don't give a fuck about the consequences. And there's been others that as they get higher and higher, they evolve and they change, you know, the, the approach to certain things because, you know, yeah. they're, they're, they, they grow. Yeah. When we're kids, so, we're more reckless sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes and, when you grow, you get more reckless. And they got other like, stuff too. You know, they got they got their bills to pay and they got to, you know, they got to get their money. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't knock that at all. It's like, like I said, I just didn't appeal to it. It, it didn't appeal to me. I gave it a shot. I'm going to probably give it one more shot before I close the door that on it. That was my next point. My next point was there's been times where I've sat down and just like how I was feeling like it wasn't necessarily a negative, but I watched down and I wasn't really feeling it. And then like a week goes by and it's like it may be like a song or like a movie or something like that or somebody's like comedy special. Um, and then the next week, it's just a different vibe for me. I'm in a different mood and I like it. Yeah. Sometimes you receive things differently depending on how you feel like of course is that why you're telling me to get intoxicated off marijuana and then exactly. watch it because that's sometimes like it just makes us more relaxed we're able to just enjoy at least yeah. for me for the most part like i get that it kind of makes me like whatever i kind of have on the back of my mind that are like negatives like they kind of allow me to yeah. put it to the side like cat williams special like remember with the electricity is <laughs> like before you smoke weed you be worried about the electricity bill how we gonna pay it how we gonna do this <laughs> oh my god i ain't got no money you hit that weed you be like fuck it i got some candles anyways i've been wanting to use <laughs> like do you remember that yeah, like <laughs> yeah definitely definitely the whole the whole weed thing is and it makes wild. you be able to like level your head and kind of think clearly sometimes everybody's different i know some people when they smoke they pass out have, just have you asleep. seen that <laughs> have you seen that documentary um the grass is greener no it's on netflix and it gives you like a, a history of of weed in america and how they it went from like being totally legit to yeah to um the propaganda Cause there's propaganda because the guy was making paper right and yeah. they were going to start using hemp as the resource correct yeah. and so they did this whole schmear campaign and they that's it. where um and it was a lot of racial What's shit too. What's the movie? What's the movie? Which the, one? The the super schmear one against uh cannabis. Um, oh my gosh, something haze. Oh my gosh. I don't even know that movie. What movie? You know that what one? I'm no. talking about once I say it. Um, Are oh, you talking about Reefer Madness? Yes. There yeah, you that's, go. That's you, I knew you were yeah. talking about. Yeah, no, yeah. how Reefer Madness came about in the first place. Like, exactly. That, that's a good documentary. You should go watch that. It has a, a lot of artists from different genres, and they talk about how. Um, you know, just their, 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 um, you know, the mass incarceration behind marijuana mm-hmm. and how now it's starting to, uh, legit. It's, it's really good. I'd probably watch that today then. Yeah. It's, it's a good one. I like that type of stuff. You know, what's another good one that I watched recently. Um, A&E's biography. I want my MTV. 
It tells about how MTV came apart. You told apart. me about that, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I already did. did yeah, but that, that one's shit. good. Uh, but what, what, what's it on? What, what A&E. platform? No, uh, uh, oh, so, I don't know. So it's on like the Comcast channel. Uh, Maybe. Uh, probably. 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 That one, I've been watching my little documentaries here and there, but that one's a really good one to watch. I just watched it again. That's interesting because lately um, I'll smoke and then I'll go exercise. And it yeah. brings a totally different like perspective mm-hmm. to... Sometimes you feel like you can exercise more. Yes, exactly. Than normal, like exactly. Just doing like it, it probably because it, you know it kicks up the dopamine and the endorphins in your brain and both of, you know the physical activity and the cannabis combined because they both do that anyways. But um, it motivates me. So the next time that I exercise, I'm not like dreading it because I remember the last time that I did it, it wasn't unenjoyable. It was something that I actually liked to do and made me feel better. Yeah. Instead of feeling tired and forced mm-hmm. and just hating it the whole time <laughs> yeah definitely yeah for you so it's interesting because you know i don't see that's how podcasts do it for me because I, since i can't smoke at work right uh-huh. like i find myself listening to podcasts more because um it, it, it it's that distract that healthy distraction it makes mm-hmm. you focus on something else it makes you but you're still doing like your your work the yes. work you're supposed to do but you're so focused on what they're saying and talk about that it, it helps it go by fast. It exactly. helps it become. It, it appears to be even easier sometimes because you got like. To me, when I'm listening to some funny shit, I'm like in full production mode. I'm like, hell yeah, this shit's yeah. hilarious. And I'm Gets doing, you in doing your my, mode. <laughs> exactly, and, and, and so I, I relate to you on that because and let it's, things flow. It, it, it it's like weed. Uh, all weed really does to me, really, is just bring focus. Or it could be. Yes. Uh, it could be actually the opposite too. Week. Sometimes it could also be like just a distraction. Where so it depends on when and how I'm using it for what. Mm-hmm. You know it, 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 how it affects me and how it be used, mm-hmm. but for the most part, yeah, you know this, the, the 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 herb ain't never bothered nobody. You know what I'm saying? It's always everybody bothering the herb. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can where's my Congos at? We are gonna get real beatnik and scientific right now and shit. But nah, this is the No Invite Podcast. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you to Patty, thank you to everybody. The weekend thank was you. dope, man. Shout out to all my folks on the block. You know what it is, man. All my peoples everywhere, um, past, present, and future, whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, I just want to send a shout out to y'all. Cannot be doing what I'm doing right now without the support from my folks. And it, I feel it. And I'm super grateful for that because that's what it's all about. You know, we should all be supporting each other. And you can't support everybody, but at least support the people in your immediate circle and support your community. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when when, when the reciprocation is real, you feel it and it's love. And, and that's how I am. So I appreciate y'all. Um, Patty, you got any shout outs? Anybody you want to shout out before we get up out of here? Nope. <laughs> oh, Patty's like, I want to shout out that, that dude's vagina on his chain. You know, you're, you're special. You are someone, okay? You are beautiful no matter what has been said on this podcast. You're just so rude and disrespectful. How dare you saying. disrespect somebody's body like I wasn't that. disrespecting the body. I just said it wasn't a real good body of work. So, like I said, the, the vagina might be pristine for all I know. It's just, you know, gently used. G, what's that, G-U-C? I don't you know what I'm saying? Know. I don't, I, I'm not condoning guac. or supporting <laughs> any of this further conversation. I'm just talking about that, man. Come on now. So, anyways, look, it's the No Invite Podcast. You can find us on all digital streaming sites. That stri- the, your favorite podcasting site, Pandora, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Deezer, whatever, whatever, or, or you know, whatever the fuck carries podcasts. You could also find us on Somewhere YouTube. Somewhere on the internet. You can find us on the YouTube for sure. You can sure. find us on the internet. You can find us on the internet somewhere. Hey, hey what Just the fuck the is internet. the internet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? <laughs> But you can find us on our YouTube channel, Rebirth Media Films. That's R-I-B-I-R-T-H Media Films, F-I-L-M-Z. You can also find us at on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast. You can follow Patty at 16th World. You know, she's always posting up some enlightenment for people, you know, say casting, casting light out there. I think there's a rare appearance of my of my Yeti son walking <laughs> around like he's like, you know, say <laughs> He went to the bathroom. Okay, I get it. But also, yeah, you could follow us there. Make sure that you guys on any of the platforms like, leave a review, comment, rate it. You know what I'm saying? That helps us out a lot. We appreciate y'all. And um, Gia.